guys welcome back to my channel today i actually have a finale for you i am ending this uh two months early just because i feel like i'm not really enjoying or making much progress on the items that i have left this is for the golden girls project pan it is in collab with the fantastic ladies over on facebook and it was created by elise so i'm just gonna go ahead and get into what i was still working on and then i'll go over what i finished um throughout the whole project so i love the golden girls and i jumped on participating in this project because I just love the Golden Girls. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> so, um, I still had the um, category Miami themed, which is think bright pinks, greens, blues, yellows, tropical, colorful. And so I had chosen this Alamar Cosmetics um, Reina del Caribe Volume 1 palette. My goal was to hit pen in all of these. As you can tell, I'm pretty close there. But you know what? Like, I have a good dip there. Um, I love this palette and as much as I used it, I'm in no rush to hit pan. I love this palette. It's very, very good. The shimmers or metallics are incredible. Um, the mattes are excellent as well. They all blend. Um, I usually don't put like a glitter glue or concealer to make the, um, the shimmers pop more. You don't need it, honestly. I've never tried them wet, and I'm very, very curious to do so because, oh my god, I can't even imagine how good they're going to be. <laughs> but yeah, that's for that one. I'm happy with my progress on that. No complaints here. And then last month, oh, maybe the month before, I added an item for Big Daddy, which is an item that intimidates you. And it's not so much that it intimidated me. It's just, it's a bold color to try and pan this is silhouette boutiques primrose honestly i don't think i touched this at all not that i don't like it it's just you know i don't know i love it i love it i truly do but i didn't think about the fact that i have a blue in the alamar palette and i don't know i just i didn't reach for it I have a lot of other eyeshadows and projects that I'm focusing on, I guess. Um, and it just wasn't a priority. But I think in spring and summer, I will definitely reach for that a lot more. Um, next, back in St. Olaf, it's a throwback gimmicky product. And for that, I had chosen Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. <laughs> and so this was pretty much brand new when I put it in. So I'm really excited with all of the progress. I'm just kind of over this product <laughs> not because it's not good or anything like that but i just i don't know i've seen it more as like a chore to reach for and um yeah i'm just kind of trying to figure out ways to use this up <laughs> um so i was here my line rubbed off and now i'm here that's not very much progress compared to how much um i was making in the past couple of months and that's okay um i have reached for this a couple of times in like let's say the last week or you know but I mean it's fine it's not something I'm gonna repurchase or anything because I just I do feel like it's gimmicky there are little like I don't know if it's like glitter or shimmer particles in here um but yeah I just don't feel like it does anything for me um maybe if I start using it at night Again, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to finish it. Um, and then maybe if I use it every day, I can give you guys a more cohesive um, review on this. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. And then uh, for Stan the Man, I actually added this in at the last update. And it's pick a product you have a love-hate relationship with. And I put in five sheet masks that I had received from 08 Liter. Um, I hadn't tried them yet, but I did maybe the day I filmed or soon after. And they're nice. They just have a lot of essence. Um, I did finish three of them, so I have two left. I do want to try and do like more self-care days or just downtime for myself. And um, sheet masks are pretty nice for that because, I don't know, I feel like when I have a sheet mask on, I can't do anything else except for like, I don't know relax so anyways that's 
those are the four items four categories I still was working on and I did rotate through the entire list so what I finished was for cheesecake I hit my goal and it's something in sweet packaging or smells sweet and I had the benefit cheek parade and if you have that palette you know it smells really good <laughs> and so I hit pan on hula and hula light so that was awesome and then for Sophia I did a smashbox lippy in sidecar I believe and then another one for Sophia I finished the derma blend loose setting powder uh, which I love I can't wait to buy it again I have been trying to finish my current powder just so I can get that one again I don't like loose powder but I love that one for some reason I I don't know what it is but I love it um, and then for Rose, it's, um, I finished, uh, Makeup Geek Creme Brulee Shadow, which was exciting, because those are so tightly packed. Oh my god. And then for Blanche, is an item that makes you feel sexy or has sexy packaging. And I actually finished Nicki Minaj, Minaj's Perfume, which I actually really enjoyed. And then for Charlie Nyland is a traveling salesman, so you pick a travel size product. And I chose by Chai Mini from like the birthday gift last year, and I finished that one up. And then Picture is a throwback product that's made overseas. And for that, I had chosen the PYT Argan Oil, and I did finish that up as well. And then out on the Lanai is a pick a skincare body care product that leaves you going inside and out. And I actually finished the Peony... Um, lotion from bath and body works and then for golden girl something golden and i actually did finish up julep's oscar glitter nail polish so going through this list like going back and seeing like how much progress how many products i was able to finish with just one project it makes me really excited and i have a lot going on this year in terms of projects because i am doing Two pretty lofty ones. I'm doing 19 in 2019 and I did join in on the A to Z project pen with the Pentastic Ladies and I'm still working on my panning games which had 24 items originally. I am at 11 for that one which is not relevant to this but you know I just... I have a lot going on um, so to be able to decide to finish a project early is kind of nice because I have I did so well I feel I feel very successful with this project and I love theme projects sorry if I look a mess I just took a nap I woke up like there's a bug in here um but yeah I took a nap and I'm tired but yeah sorry for my face <laughs> Um, but yeah, I feel super accomplished with this and I love theme projects. I think they're so much fun and it kind of gives you a push when you're feeling frustrated with your products or just a project in general and you need a little bit of motivation and it's just like, oh, okay, you can relate it back and be like, oh, well, it gives you like a newfound motivation when you're connecting it to the prompt, if that makes sense. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to watch everyone else's updates and or finales. I know a couple people already finished. Um, with this project because they didn't have it rolling and I did I wanted to get through all the categories um, But yeah, I'm so excited and I can't wait to be a part of more theme projects So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video